What's up guys? Today we're going to learn the basics on how to catch a disc, okay? We're going to talk about the different types of catches. We're going to also talk about when you should be making these different types of catches. And then we're going to learn a couple drills that's going to increase your overall ability to catch the disc. Guys, we're going to first learn the basic pancake catch. This is what you should be trying to do at all times in ultimate. You're going to have your right hand or your dominant hand on top. Your other hand's going to be on the bottom. If you notice, my arms aren't too stretched out. They're not too close to my body. Also, it's kind of a medium height in here. You don't want to be too wide or too shallow. Somewhere in the middle, okay? And what you're going to do is simply when the disc comes in, you're just going to close your hands on top of it and make the catch. One thing you might be asking is why do I need my dominant hand on top? And there are some players that don't do that. They maybe catch with their left hand or they might tell you depending on where it's coming is where you should make a catch. I always like to just catch right hand on top, okay, no matter if it's on my right side of my body or the left hand side, I do the same way, right hand on top. And the reason why I do that is, one, I'm most comfortable doing it, but also, if a pass comes to me and I catch with my right hand on top, it's easy for me to slide right into my backhand grip. And that's what you want. You want to be able to catch and get it into your grip for a quick throw. If I, if I go right hand on bottom, I have to do some rearranging of my hands to make that happen. And it's a slower process. So get in the habit of going dominant hand on top. So if this is new to you, grab a partner and start practicing, okay? Things to focus on is trying to make that catch right in the middle of the frisbee. If you're off a little bit, you'll still make the catch, but just focus on trying to make a firm catch right in the middle of the frisbee. Also, you don't want to put too much force into it. Sometimes you see people where they just slam their hands together, and that's not what you want. Just make a good, firm catch right in the middle of the frisbee. So one thing I see a lot is when sometimes people make that cut deep and then they come under, as soon as they make that undercut, they immediately put their arms out like they're gonna catch the disc, okay? The problem with that I see a lot is you're making a cut, one, this is not the most effective way of going fast, okay? You wanna keep pumping your arms to get away from your defender. Also, it kinda messes up you mentally if you're holding your arms out for so long, okay? So if I make that deep cut and Logan's gonna wait a little bit for me to cut, I'm gonna make that deep cut, I'm gonna come under. I'm still making a, uh, I'm still cutting and running, and then once he throws the disc, then I can extend my hands out and make the catch. So now we're gonna talk about the overhand and the underhand catch. If the disc is coming perfectly at your chest, or it's a little high, or it's a little low, you're gonna pancake. However, if the disc is up high, over your head, or down low, below your knees, you're gonna do the overhand catch, okay, with your thumbs on the bottom, fingers on top, or the underhand catch. Thumbs on top, fingers on the bottom, okay? And we're gonna show that now. So if Josh throws me one up high, I'm gonna catch it like this. If Josh throws it to me down low, I'm gonna catch it down here. To practice this, just get a partner about 10 yards away and just have them throw discs, chest level, over your head, down below your ankles, all sorts of places. And the reason why you wanna always go with two hands is, I'm gonna show you right here, a low pass comes down below my knees and you look at my left hand, I actually don't even get my left hand on the disc. But because I got two hands down there, I make the catch with my right hand. Same thing here for an overhead pass. He's going to go up with the overhand grip. And he's going to make the catch with his right hand and then he gets his left hand on it to secure the catch. For these catches, your margin of error is going to be smaller, so you want to make sure you practice. For this pass here, my hands get a little too low, the disc goes right over top when I try to close in on it. So make sure you go out and practice underhand and overhand catches. So one thing a lot of rookies do is they do not run through the disc. You'll hear this a lot, run through the disc, run through the disc. What does that mean? Well, if I'm making an undercut, all right, and I'm coming and I'm running full speed, when the disc comes, a lot of people have a tendency of just stopping or slowing down. You don't want to do either one of those things. What you're doing is giving your defender an opportunity of making a play on the disc. You want to be able to run through the disc. So how do you do that? First start off by simply just running as fast as you can and pancaking. So if I'm here, I'm going to run as fast as I can and pancake all the way through the disc, okay? That's the first thing you want to do. For this drill, don't worry about trying to slow down and get a pivot foot after you make the catch. We're focusing on just running through the disc as fast as we can, making that pancake catch. Okay, so now if you're comfortable with making that run-through pancake, 
The next thing you want to work on is making that run through overhand catch. Okay, if you notice, if I pancake, most of the time, this is how far away the disc is going to be. Now, if I can take a step out, lunge for the disc, and make that overhand catch, I now have created, you know, four or five feet of where the defender has to come through and make a play. So you first want to start off where you're not that far away from the thrower and you're going to focus on accelerating through the disc, keep moving forward, and making good catches. Now you're going to notice that you're going to make drops at the beginning. That's okay. Even if the disc is low, still get down and make catches like I did here, but you're going to drop the disc and that's okay. The big thing is just keep practicing and eventually you'll get it and you'll be able to run through the disc and you'll never get laid out to it again. Go! That's how you catch. Do something and, you know, make sure you're doing it if you... Why don't you shut the door? Tiny, what some of you guys are telling me, my hands are too small. I can't do it. 